Next up on the Sage 2021 Showcase, we have Sonic Illusion. This was headed by El Flori Desesperado, and the description states simply, Sonic Illusion is a fan game that is located after Sonic Mania. Sonic Illusion still does not have a very clear story, in which I will be working to make sense of the game. So, while the developer apparently needs to make sense of his own game, I guess we'll check out the demo. Hope this game makes no sense, I suppose. Well, the capture certainly made no sense for it. I had a little trouble with that earlier, so... <laughs> Maybe this is a sits nonsensical game. I don't know. It's an illusion, after all. Who knows? It's like a barrage, perhaps. Maybe we are dying of thirst. Who knows? Anyways. <laughs> hey, it's another Sonic fan game. I'm always interested in those. It has good presentation. Um, so, let's check it out. Of course. Whoops. I was going to say before we begin, but somehow I went back to the intro. Before we begin, if you like the video, do you think about giving it a like? If you haven't subscribed yet, don't think about doing that, too. And, if you really want to help out, come on by Twitch. I'm trying to reach partner, but I need more viewers for it. If you want to come by, whether it's is to lurk or to talk, honestly, I'd be happy to see you. Uh, happy to add you to the view count. And happy to talk to you if you want to talk. Because, uh, yeah, I, li I like socializing my audience, and it's always nice to have new people show up. So, if you really want to help out, think about coming by Twitch. Uh, I also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. Links are in the description, so check them out if you're interested. It's so weird, every time I press S to... <laughs> Pressing S is part of the requirements to pull up my announcement message. But it appears that that also makes me go back to the title screen for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> um, usually it's a key that doesn't do things in games, except for maybe make you walk down in a Wasset game, but... Nonetheless. So, the music volume seems kind of weird in this one. The title screen it seems very loud, but this... This does not. I'm gonna hesitantly put us at 70% volume. We're gonna stay with the language of English. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's just hop in and see what happens. Okay, so we got a zone select here. G Mate Space Zone Act 1 and 2. Sunshine Coast Zone Act 1, Act Mini Boss, Act 2, Act Boss. Oh, the, the bosses have their own zones, kinda like Sonic Advance. Um. Flooded Foundry Zone mini boss. Okay. And we could be a uh, Sonic. We could be Best Character. We could be Knuckles. We could be Mighty. And Ray. Okay, cool. Well, you know who I'm picking. That's a really cute sprite. Is that a custom sprite? Are these custom sprites? They, they kind of remind me of certain chibi sprites from uh, certain games, but they're like a little bit less chibi, a little bit more detailed. Tails is, is the cutest one, but that's not surprising. Uh, let's do cheat. Let's do G Mate Space Zone. Test Zone. Yeah, figured as much. Now Sonic Illusion here. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. So I had a hunch that the game was lagging. It's not a hunch anymore. <laughs> um, you know what, Beerus? I have a job for you if you're up for it. Yeah, it's one of those games that... I wonder if it's, uh... Hold on a minute, I'm gonna test something. If I stop the capture... Nope, that does not... Wait! No, yeah. Nope! I kind of makes the game run better, but every time I jump it legs again. What the hell? So... If I, if I stop capturing the game... The leg stops when I'm on the ground, but continues when I jump. So it's a game that doesn't like capture... Doesn't like being captured. But, in addition to that, it has problems even if I'm not captured it, which means normal gameplay if I wasn't streaming would still affect it. Uh, in other words, it would still run better. And let me let me try something. I have a, I have a hunch. Let me try changing the screen resolution. Are you playing on keyboard? Oh, you think it's the controller glitch again? We did experience one thing with a Sage game where the moment I stopped using the controller, uh, the leg stopped. You're right, it's possible it could be the controller uh, causing lag. Yes, that sounds stupid, but we've seen it before. Let's try something. Over here in uh, Gamepad, yes. Uh, no, I don't want to configure. Oh shit, I just configured everything to, uh oh. Well, I, I think I've pretty much eliminated use of this anyways. Uh, action, back. Actually, maybe if I, 
Maybe if I do rebind, maybe perhaps that will actually fix the issue. If it is gamepad. Perhaps rebinding the controls will solve some sort of glitch. Let's try it. Now the problem here is that this game is auto-detected by controller. Which means the only way I can kill its controller input is by severing the connection by controller, which is kind of annoying, but I guess I can just pull this wire out. Let's try that. Anyways, uh, Beerus, I asked you for a favor. Could you go to my, could you go to my, since you're part of my, since you're one of my managers for my YouTube channel, could you go to my YouTube channel and search up Sonic Illusion or just Illusion on the search bar on my video manager page? Uh, I actually, I feel like I may have played this before. I feel like it's possible I may have played this before. Anyways, controller is now unplugged. I feel like this may have come up in a previous stage, this game. I, I feel like the G-Made Zone is familiar to me. <coughs> Anyways, I have now unplugged my controller. I can only have keyboard input at this point. So let's see what happens. Okay. And just to confirm. Yeah, if it, if, it, if it does have gamepad support still, it's, it's definitely not detecting my gamepad because it doesn't exist, like I said. So let's just hop into a level and see if it's better. Not particularly, ow. Poor Tails. Is that a custom death sprite? Well, controller had nothing to do with it. <coughs> One more thing I want to try. I'm going off a of full screen. This may make a difference. Or maybe it won't. It made small difference. Now let me try uncapturing it. Which now it runs okay. If I don't show it to you guys, everything's good. But I I have to both uncapture the game and lower the resolution. Wait, if, is it really that poorly optimized? The lowering the resolution makes an effect, even though I have a really beefy computer. Let me try plugging my controller back. I want to check something. Oh! Okay, so it's a combination of things. I plugged my controller back in, and that returned the leg. Oh my god, that's amazing. If I pick up my controller and start playing with the controller, the leg exists. But at the moment I put the controller down and start using the keyboard again, no leg. So if I use the controller, I... I use, it doesn't even matter if it's plugged in or not. It can still be, it's currently still plugged in. But if I use the keyboard controls and not the controller, then it runs better. The fuck? I can maybe understand maybe if the controller is loaded that there may be some sort of lag, but it's purely using the controller that causes that lag. Now, that's only part of the lag though, because there's also lag when you capture the game. So there is, there's three, there's three sources of lag. One, does not capture well video capture software. Two, if you use a controller, the input of the buttons on the controller will cause lag. Three, if the resolution is full screen or just bigger, you can generate lag through that. So in other words, there are actually three sources of lag here, and I cannot eliminate them all. So let me try something. Because obviously I kind of need to capture the game to, uh, you know, to kind of make an episode on it, so let me try something. I've now reduced my resolution. Does this improve the frame rate further? No. So full screen causes lag, but the resolution otherwise doesn't matter. You just want to make sure you avoid full screen. Okay. It's a puzzle. One moment. So I can do this resolution. Uh, but okay, so I can't capture the game. 
that way. There might be a way I can capture the game and have it run well. Let me let me experiment. Yes, window capture and game capture are two different things. Whether or not they make a different result, I'll uh, find out in a minute. So game capture. So by the way, this is the Ruby Engine version 0.1. I definitely see why it's 0, 0 0.1. FPS 60 out of 60 DX8. Really. In the moment I turn it on, though. Let's see. I'm doing an FPS check. It immediately drops to 30 FPS, but if I jump, it drops even lower. Okay. Let me try something. So I was using auto detect. What happens if I game capture? That also drops it in half. Okay. By the way, if you're wondering, DX8. I, I guess so, Beerus. But it's easier to find it on the video. Anyways, DX8. DX8 sucks. I, as I've expressed in previous um, Sage entries, DX9 is old but fine, generally. Still kind of jank, but usually captures fine. DX10 is actually kind of more current and better. Um, it's not the newest, but it works fine. DX11 is, I think, more or less the current. Actually, I think the current is DX11.1 specifically. But regardless, DX11 is more or less pretty much modern and good. But fuck DX8. And fuck... <laughs> fuck let me out of games that use DX8 and Sage. There are quite a few of them. And I don't... <sighs> DX8 capturing poorly is not like amazing. This is not, this is not insane. Like, oh my god, DX8 is capturing poorly in X Wit. A uh, crazy. Oh hey, look at that. Looks like window capture is the way to go. So let's see. So if we don't use a controller, don't have a full screen, and make sure to use only window capture, we can play this game on stream. Ain't that great? All right, cool. And you have to bounce so many, so many hoops for old pro. This isn't technically an old program, but it's an old engine. So technically, it's like an old program in, in the sense that it runs like a shitty old program that doesn't understand modern technology. We have a DX12. We do. We do indeed. Alright, so window capture is acceptable. Game capture is not. And I have an important question for you, the audience. Do I redo my intro? Or was this worth showcasing? This, this, this... This is, admittedly, this is more of a annoyance for streamers, but technically this is an annoyance for anyone if you were to, say, use a controller and play full screen. No, you should showcase the bullshit. I generally showcase the bullshit. So, anybody who is... Okay, YouTube, so, fresh course. If you want to play this game, don't use a controller, and make sure not to full screen it. You'll be fine otherwise. You'll be fine at that point, but... Also, if you're capturing it for, like, your own recording, do not game capture. Do not game captures. Window capture. Um, alright, so... Yes, now, admittedly, I always wonder if this sort of, this sort of thing hurts my professionalism. Like, oh, you know, I, I just had all this, like, stuff before the gameplay. Uh, well, that's kind of boring. But, at the same time, I really do prefer providing an unfiltered experience, I guess you could say. So, you know, let's let's keep it in. So now we can properly play the game. So at this point, we will properly play the game. On on keyboard. Let us play Act 1, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the controller thing. That could trip up a lot of people. Welcome to a level made for testing purposes. Have fun! There was clearly not enough testing. But yeah, the problem is, here's if you're wondering, why why is it? Hey, Charm, you say a lot of games use older versions of uh, DX for Sage. Why is that? I'll explain. Generally speaking, um, there are two reasons why a lot of games use older DX. Uh, basically, we're essentially seeing here Game Maker or versions of Game Maker uh, being used for a lot of fan games or just games in general uh, made for Sage. It's a, it, Game Maker is a great program for indie developers. Don't get me wrong. I have no problems with it. But here's the, here's the issue. 
there are two issues with Game Maker, right? Issue one, some developers have used older versions of Game Maker and do not wish to upgrade because they don't understand the upgraded version as much. That's kind of understandable, but effectively what that means is that they stay with aging hard, they basically stay with aging engines and stick to, well, the older versions of Game Maker, which in fact, as you may expect, use older versions of DX. So, uh, old versions DirectX. So if they do stick with older versions of Game Maker because that's what they know or that's what they understand, it's sort of understandable, but it's really kind of important to like learn the new engines, the new upgraded versions. It's also possibly a price thing though. Some people may not be able to afford the new, I don't really know how Game Maker, how Game Maker's payment model works. I don't know if you have to pay for newer versions. I presume so. So that might be also a reason why people do that. By the way, I'd like to note the frame rate still isn't perfect even right now. I have noticed a little choppiness here and there, but it's definitely forgivable at this point at least. But um, yeah. If you do that, at least have the game output good old OpenGL. So I don't think, I'm not 100% sure because I'm not really that familiar with Game Maker, but I don't think that is possible. I believe Game Maker does not actually run an OpenGL. Maybe the newer versions. Certainly not the older versions. So that's problem one and problem two. Problem one, people are familiar with an older version of Game Maker, they don't want to upgrade, and thus they basically accidentally force everyone to play in aging, you know, software <laughs> if they want to play their games. Which kind of sucks. Problem two is, of course, maybe a price thing. Maybe they have an older version, but they can't afford a new one. I can understand that, that circumstance. I, I'm, I'm sentimental to that plight. I am, but at the same time, it's, it's problematic. It does hurt your game, right? It does hurt your game to run on an older version. Now, oh, both stage. The third problem, uh, and the one that I think is the more likely issue, specifically when it comes to Sage entries, especially Sonic fan games, but this applies to a few other games besides that, too. There are actually pre-made engines for Game Maker, as well as maybe another program I can't think of the name of right now. Um, there are pre-made engines for Sonic Physics. There are several, in fact. There's a lot of people that have made, um, basically just Sonic fan game engines. So you just, you know, you, you fire up that engine in your, in your version of Game Maker. And you, and there you go. You got, you got perfect Sonic physics just off the bat. You don't have to design it yourself, which is cool. I like that. Here's the problem though. Some of those engines have existed for a very long time. Some of them aren't very well updated. So some of these engines that do provide great Sonic physics and stuff, they're for older versions of Game Maker. Say versions that run in Direct, in direct 8, X8. Uh, we saw Gmate on the title screen. Well, not, not, YouTube didn't see that, but on the title screen, we act, uh, before the title screen, we actually saw a little thing for Gmate, and this level is even called Gmate. It's a test zone named, named after it. Gmate is one of those engines, as far as I'm aware. One of those engines to help people make a good Sonic fan game. But it's an old one, obviously. It runs on older versions of Game Maker, hence why we're on DirectX 8 Game Maker right now. Um, now you can see the problem there. People want to use a good Sonic uh, preset engine, well, they end up using an older version of Game Maker in the process. Because that's what it's compatible with. <laughs> now, I do believe there are newer versions of the said engine. Said, uh, like, there's a million Sonic engines out there. I'm pretty sure there is, an, is a newer one that runs on newer versions of Game Maker. But again, this might be another case of, oh, well, I've been using this one preset Sonic engine for in the past, so I want to stay to that one. I don't want to upgrade to uh, a later version because I don't. You know, I don't want to. I want to use a different engine because a uh, different version of Game Maker because I don't understand that one. You know, I think a lot of I think a lot of this is just the sake of people being comfortable with a particular engine, whether it be the Sonic uh, preset engine that some fans make or just the version of Game Maker we, we see used, and they don't want to change it up. And that's kind of why we end up with these situations where I am in 2021 playing a game that runs on fucking Direct X8, like. That's not really a situation that should be occurring, but it's nonetheless a situation that occurs. And I should remind you guys, though. Uh, this, these are all fan games. These are all just any little project. Nobody's really charging for these for the most part. I mean, some of the Sage games are like demos or previews of games that are, will be on Steam, but 
well, by and large, these are just random fan games that are made by random people, so there's really no quality level that they're forced to meet, you know? Like, they don't have to update their games to run in a better version of DirectX that actually is compatible with modern computers. It's just a good idea for them to, that's all. But I kind of wish they did. Admittedly, like, it's kind of disappointing that that is the situation. But I can't force them, <laughs> you know? But I, I do have to say, though, regardless if you're making something that is supposed to be a paid project or... Ooh, trendy. Well, regardless if you're making a paid project or you're just trying to make, put together a little silly, fun, personal project or whatever, if, if you do intend to share it with a wider audience beyond just yourself, I would recommend trying to consider that audience and consider what they might be running and just what they might have for performance, you know? I, I think it's a good idea. I think I, I think I just trapped myself. It's kind of. It doesn't even look like there's a. Please stop moving tails. I found a perpetual motion machine. I am pressing nothing. I am pressing nothing. This is a perpetual motion machine. I can't stop. There, finally. Holy shit. <laughs> Not a DX8 issue. Well, DX. Here's the thing. It's. I'm not saying that if a game is Direct X8, it's automatically going to be bad. No, it. That doesn't mean anything. It. It, it could be good still, but I do have to say that newer versions of Direct X usually will run better with modern computers. And. Let's see what Flatter said. It's not a DX8 issue. It's a game maker issue. I just tested in Proton and ran like ass. What is Proton? Is that a version of Game Maker or something separate? Oh wait, no, you mean the game. You ran the game in Proton. What the hell is Proton? Oh, so- Oh, Red Shoe subscribed! Well, hi there, Red! Assuming you're on the stream as well. It's been a while, dude. Hey- Oh shit, a death pit. How you doing, Red? Just fly tails. Yeah, I guess I could. I figured I'd play the level legitimately, but then the level threw me in a pit, so... It's just a test zone, I don't really care. I'm gonna fly. The fucked up scaling is in fact the weird API. And by the API, you mean the Sonic Engine, right? That's being used with this. Proton is a Windows compatibility for Linux. Oh, okay. Fair enough. It... So, what, what if... So, the API itself... Yeah, so... Fucked up scaling is a common issue with Game Maker type games, I've noticed. Basically where, I, I don't know, maybe it's probably just a Game Maker preset of some sort where they, oh hi. Super Tails, does he get his fuckies though? I'm gonna stack these shields, yeah. No flickies, okay. I think I now that now that both Flanders and Creature have explained the the uh, issue with the random black screen thing, um, I suddenly understand now why I see that so commonly. So it must be a version or several versions of Game Maker or similar programs that effectively cheat for upscaling. Where in other words, they're always running 1-1 one, one scale, but they're just like, they're just like blowing up the image, which works fine for a monitor, but that confuses the hell out of game capture software. So it's kind of a bad way of doing it. It's like a shortcut method that it, it works well for normal usage, but it's technically not doing the process correctly. And thus anything that's trying to capture any sort of capture software will glitch the fuck out on it. It's it. In other words, I I I would consider that one of those shortcuts you shouldn't do because it can cause glitches that otherwise wouldn't exist. So screw the <laughs> screw the core desires of Game Maker for doing that. 
That has been a gripe I've had for fucking years, actually. Oh no, crab! Are you okay? I knocked the shell off. He's still coming. By the way, actual level now! Uses in and scale, it looks good in Windows, but Pro fucks it up and it makes it work. Yeah, there's another example. It doesn't work in Linux well either. It's just one of those things. Like, if they had just done it properly, then there wouldn't be any glitches, but they had to take a fucking shortcut, I guess. Also, it's not really a great idea to take 1-1 one, one and upscale it artificially. True, true upscaling will look a lot better, you know? Also, I don't know why we... It's very weird to have Kirby music while playing a Sonic level. I'm not opposed to it, though. You know, I'm surprised I haven't seen that, thinking about it. Why have we not seen, like, a Kirby-Sonic mashup? I, I feel like Kirby could totally just spin dash. He's a ball already. Actually, what, what sounds more interesting? Kirby-style gameplay with Sonic characters, and Sonic, like, character movement and such? Or Sonic-style gameplay with Kirby characters? What sounds more interesting? I feel like Tails would work in Kirby fairly well. <laughs> I mean, he's already a flying-type character like Kirby. So if, he, if any side character was in a Kirby game, I think Tails would be best for that. This is probably where a special art would be. Oh, wait, nope. There was a Kirby and Sonic ROM hack released some years ago. Well, I don't mean just a Kimple. A, a, a Kimple? I don't mean a Kimple character swap. <laughs> I think I was about to say a Kimple character, character swap. <laughs> um, I don't know if you just mean a character swap mod, where it's not really changing the gameplay, it's just changing the, like, what, what's the main character. That's a classic type of mod, but I'm not really interested in just character mods, that's not what I'm talking about. More, more I'm talking about, like, actual gameplay mashup. <laughs> what if Tells use technology to, rep to replicate copy abilities? Okay, that sounds suddenly very amazing. Can you imagine Tells like remember how Kirby gets like all the sort all the different hats when he gets copy abilities? Like, you know, there's that one wizard hat when he gets mirror or like the link hat when he gets sword. Now imagine Tells doing that. Now imagine Tells getting little copy ability outfits. And that sounds fucking adorable. I'd like to see that. Okay, I want- now that's what I want. I want a Kirby game where Tells is the main character. And it's more than just- and he can get copy abilities to fly, but also... Um... Yeah, honestly, it's, it's not even that crazy. He doesn't even inhale enemies to get copy abilities. There's already a character in Kirby lore that can get copy abilities without inhaling. That's Tack, the thief. He can just grab copy abilities. So Tells could probably grab copy abilities his own way. Yeah, give him a cute hat. He get a cute hat. Oh, that's his. What is up with this fish? That fish's tail really vibrates. <laughs> What's this? Okay. <laughs> I guess I should have assumed that was a mine. By the way, are th it's been a little while since I played Mania. Are these all Mania sprites? Some of them seem unusual. Like I don't recognize them. But Tails and Haley for copy abilities could be cute. <laughs> well, look, I'm not opposed to Tails for it's just maybe not on brand. Is all I'm saying. Come here. I saw that. Oh God. It's these fish. I wanted to kill the fish, but apparently they won't come on screen if they're they won't appear if they're not on screen. All right. Yeah, there's there's a bit of a sprite mashup going on here. Come on, do your thing. There you go. Stupid frog. Shot me last time, I learned my lesson. Scan Kirby! Oh yeah, Scan Kirby! I forgot Scan Kirby was a thing because it's like one of the most fucking redundant things, but yeah, that, that's a thing, Scan Kirby. Screw the brand. Oh. I thought I picked up a lightning shield. No, I picked up that weird shield I've seen in some fan games where it's just like, it's a light shield minus the ning. It's just light. 
or sun or something. I don't know. I don't know what this shield does. Let's see. Tails ain't great for checking shields. Normally he can't use shield abilities. They're replaced by his flying, basically. <coughs> Which is a fair trade-off. Okay. I like how I felt like I had enough speed to do that spiral, but a game was just like, no. Also, I like how Beerus is just, like, tells for yes. Beerus is just like, what in that now? Is it not just a Sonic 1 shield, but every color to match tells? You know what? That's not an unreasonable possibility. Oh, the special button. What button was that? I, I mean, I don't know what it is on key keyboard because I had to switch to keyboard. So now I have no idea what the special button is. I do. I can note that A and D both jump, though, so I assume one of those is actually the special button. Oh shit, I'm actually running out of time. I can't keep traipsing around here. Smash keys. That's a bad idea! That's a bad I, I want to remind you that some of these fan games also have a random key that randomly kills the game instantly without warning. Usually escape, but not always. So Master Keys ain't a great idea for random old fan games. Well, it's not an old fan game, but old engine fan games, I guess I should say. Ah, no special states. That proves that. Okay. You know, that isn't actually a bad concept, if we want to talk about playing by the pound for a brief sec. It's not a- that's not a bad concept to kind of make a playing by the, you know, fat, uh, Vord type fan game thing where you just take- oh, mini boss. Oh, oh, oh good! I love mini bosses that instantly attack me the moment I spawn in. My favorite type. <laughs> They're always very fair, you know? What is this silly song? How do I hurt you? Oh, I see. Oh my god, it's the... Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Which is appropriate because it... Oh, fuck. What was his name? What was the monkey named? The monkey in... Oh, he's on the... Now he's on here. Are, are you good? Okay. What was his name? Just Coconuts, I think, right? But yeah, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, if you watched it... Coconuts was a major Madnik character who actually had a lot of lines and it was kind of a, kind of annoying. Anyway, so that's probably why we're having a vicious song of the Hedgehog music. I should also note that it's interesting to have this be the mini boss because I despise these monkey Madniks. They always hit me. I don't know if I'm alone on this, but Emerald Emerald Hill, this is the worst enemy in the fucking game. I don't I don't care about Metropolis' zones, lobster and prey mantis. They're not as bad as coconuts! Coconuts is worse. Oh, okay, hi. Oh, they're just basic bad mix. He's not they're, they're not coconut. They're not cool like coconut. Coconut can surf. And as we know from Surfy Pikachu, Surfy makes you automatically cool. Anyways, to finish my thought earlier. I think it's actually kind of a clever idea for a play by the pound esque uh, board game to have basically just have Kirby game, but replace Kirby with other character and let the other character do the do the basically the same Kirby gameplay. But yeah, I mean Kirby already is a vor is a vor creature basically. So, but admittedly, the fact that he's literally a ball makes him slightly less interesting in that regard, at least. For us Vor aficionados, I, I mean, Kirby's cool still, but don't get me wrong, I love Kirby, but... My point is that more detailed characters could be interesting in that role. Not a bad idea. You can also get pretty creative with it. Regardless, though, outside of fetish game land for a moment, I think that a Tell's Kirby mashup would actually be really neat. I think that it would be awesome to see Tails get in all sorts of cute outfits. Um, I think that would be a very win winning combination that everybody would like. 
I don't think it would actually be Vor. I think it would just be he has some sort of technology gun that copies, like the scan ability from Kirby. Which again, I don't understand why Kirby even. Why does the scan ability exist? Why does it exist? <coughs> it's an ability that helps you get abilities, which you can do without it. So why? Why does the scan ability even exist? It's like, well, here you go, Kirby. We gave you an ability you already have. Enjoy. <laughs> I, I never understood it. I am stuck. I am stuck. Okay, I'm good. Turns out you can basically get stuck on those. Oh, good. My tails can kill enemies. Nice. Oh, God. They combined the monkeys from Sonic 3 and Sonic 2 here. That's Sonic 2. Sonic and 2? Sonic and 2. The game that stars Sonic and the number 2 also... Appearing co-starring. Uh, what? Uh, there's the electric shield I was looking for. With scan, you can get crashed for those orange things you normally can in hell. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> but that's it? <laughs> that's all you can do with it? I guess it has small amount of utility then. I mean, I guess scan's faster. You just scan an enemy and it's like, boom, you get this ability instantly. It's not a case of inhale, stuff face, have to swallow, then get ability. It scans a little quicker, I guess? And I guess it does let you basically scan things you can't swallow, but that's pretty limited. It's good to have Milky Way wishes. I feel like it was useful somewhere, but I couldn't remember why. You can also get sleep. Well, yeah, I guess uses. Well, sleep is a useless ability that makes sense, though. Scan seems like it's supposed to be kind of useful, but just kind of isn't. Sort of redundant. Sleep is a debuff. Sleep, I understand. Sleep is a like. Oops, you grab sleep. Oh, that was a odd bouncy. Okay, sure. I never understand those those weird worms from Angel Island Zone. They always hurt you in weird ways you don't expect. That's cool, Goomy. Yeah, I think I legitimately want- by the way, the sign in this- in, I don't know if this, the Tell sign art is custom, but it's really cute. Not that, not that it's easy to see on that one, but... Oh, we are- we're using the board now. Hi, hi Metal Sonic, how you doing? Oh. Attacking me before I even had rings, that's rude. Ah. I was wondering if that was a vertical or a horizontal. This is actually a pretty cool fight. I kind of like how he- I like how he- we hit him into the water, then he bursts out of the water. That's pretty cool, actually. Not bad. I do not like how I lose rings the moment, uh... Not, not fun of the losing rings the moment- oh. They don't bounce in the water, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I just lose them. Alright. I was like, oh, I jumped over the rings in the process of jumping over the middle. Oh. Oh well. That's fair, Serio. It is consistent that way. Oops. I really should move forward when I do that. Whoops. No ring juggly for me, I actually have to try. <laughs> That's fine though. I, the rings do show up again, so it's not a big deal. I say that, but I just ring juggled. Gonna work me. Okay, yeah. Oh, what you doing? Okay, admittedly that isn't. Uh oh, I missed the. Ugh, okay, I was, I was thinking that's how that was gonna work. <laughs> I'm probably gonna hit him there. I waited too long though. <laughs> 
It's okay if I run out of lives, because I can just start from here. I'll try not to, though. Oh, that's really easy to dodge. I don't need to jump at all. Not sure I was even trying. Okay, I, I honestly, I, I kind of want this now. I kind of want somebody to make a Kirby Tails mashup where Tails just goes around with some sort of scanner gun, gets abilities, and looks fucking adorable in different outfits. That sounds like a good idea, honestly. Well, Sage, Sage developers, there you go. I gave you a good idea. Give it a shot. <laughs> Sparks the Electric Jester actually kind of had a uh, outfit system like that. Not quite as cute, but still cute. <laughs> Mega Man? Could. Huh. Okay. Ow! Shit. Damn it! I did the thing where I forgot to hit him again. Also, I wasn't expecting to actually get hit by that. Last time I did it. So. I see. So he changed his pattern at that point. Hi, Sonic, in the side of the screen. How you doing? Uh. Uh. The <laughs> game froze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness me. This feels like it's held together by duct tape. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let me get to the game. I'll just pick up where I left off, I guess. Because I can do that. Nope, wrong button. Right. By the way, AS, A, S, and D. Which is kind of slightly confusing to me. Can you not break a game for once? I don't know. Can, can a developer not use DX8 old engines for once? <laughs> actually is a bit of a fight, though. You, e you can easily lose rings. It's long. You have to wait a while to actually pull off the fight. It, uh... Like, it's, it's a long fight, and it's a fight where you can lose the rings really easily. That, that combines into a hard boss fight in Sonic games. Combine those two elements, and you got a hard fight. That's why Sonic 2's final boss is so hard. No rings, long fight. Ow. Oh, also, moving this- oh, also, it's- it's, uh, auto-scroller. Which- with a weird surfboard that's actually a little tricky to stay on. Well, it's not a tricky to stay on, but, like, there's a momentum to it. Yeah, the way you turn around is slow, to put it simply. Alright. Fuck it. What? Okay, metal's actually being kind of intimidating. What's this? Oh shit, how was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? Oh. Oh god. Yeah, this is a legitimately overly ridiculous fight, in my opinion. No, no, it's, it's close second. Okay. 
shit. You good? Okay, cool. No, I got rings, just couldn't keep them. Normally I would say any any auto scroller that gives you rings now and then is not that hard, but no, this is actually kinda hard. Oops, I was reading the chat. I was reading the chat and trying to figure out why you were talking about sandwiches. I was like, my brain had to pause for a second and ask, like, why the fuck does Metal Sonic have a sandwich? What the fuck does Metal Sonic put on a sandwich? It's... He's a robot. What is a Metal Sonic sandwich like? Congratulations, Scooby, you definitely broke my brain. Metal Sonic just sees chili dogs, but it's like... Sees it differently, because he, he's like Sonic, so he likes chili dogs, but he has to eat them differently because he's a robot. Can robots eat sandwiches too? I mean, I guess they can. If they have the proper... if they have the proper, uh... Bioprocessing units, I suppose. <laughs> have you ever had a robot sandwich? A what? Yeah, this is a long and drawn out fight. Oh, right, okay. Again, the fact that I'm on a surfboard messes with my. means my precision is a little different than you would expect. The control precision, that is. Which does make this harder. Uh oh. If I have a choice between picking up rings and hitting metal, I gotta pick up rings. Alright. Oh shit, he can hit me if I corner. Oh shit. This kind of feels like a final fight near the end of the game against metal, not random Sunset Hill stage. Okay, that's really easy to dodge. Thanks for that. Thank you. Wow. Okay, that's fine. Thank God. Okay. Wait, you're electric and charging me? Okay, you have a lot of attacks, sir. And attack variations. Oh, thank God. God, that's a really hard Metal Sonic fight. The laser is not a fair attack. I can't tell if he's going to shoot it downwards or upwards and where he's starting it. It's it's basically just trial and error. I'm hoping you have a ring to deal with it. Flooded Foundry Zone mini boss. That's the last thing here. Let's do it. Oh my God, it's fucking Spinball. <laughs> Wait, Flooded Foundry? Is that Flooded with Lava, I guess? I'm not sure why, but I kind of appreciate it. It's gonna make the horrible scream. I know this boss fight. Yep, it is. I know the spin ball. I'm I'm a, a Sonic aficionado. <laughs> it's fine. 
I'm fine. Don't worry. How are you? I'm fine. I I'm so going to die one of these times. I don't I'm surprised I have it actually. Sorry, I love his like, I'm going to attack you. Warning? Warning shot? What's that? <laughs> A, war a warning that I'm about to attack you. That's just, that's just ridiculous. What? Okay. This fight is best taken slow. Oh no, I lost three rings. Uh oh. No! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Fuck. <laughs> I was ready to juke, but I didn't know when to juke. I, what, what really sucks here, if you can't tell, is that when he hits me, I go flying to the left or right, which sends me off the platform and into the corner into the lava. Which really is kind of annoying. I'll be honest with you, it's not fun. <laughs> Actually, I have, I have a thought. If I juke at the right time, though, I guess it's not too big a deal. It's very easy to slip off the platform by Elsa, too. If I could better predict when he's about to shoot... It's gonna be nearly as hard. Also, the hit detection is pretty picky, I guess is the word I'd use. Also, those barrels disappear way faster than you think that they will. Wow, okay. Didn't have that happen before, but I guess that makes sense. Everything about this is just a little bit more unfair than you might think. <laughs> like, it doesn't feel like it's unfair, but then... There's just little things about it that absolutely are unfair. <laughs> like how the barrels disappear, like they melt the moment they hit the, uh... They hit the, the moment they even touch the lava, they're gone. That was me attempting to avoid it by not jumping. Okay, well. Rip. <laughs> yeah, like, also the amount- oh, I'm slipping off the platforms even. I would say the physics feel okay, but like, I'm just having no- I'm having bad luck here, I don't know. This fucking bullet at the wrong fucking moments. <laughs> Tedium, the game. Oops, see, I messed up again because I jumped too early. Or too late. Okay, that's fine. If you're wondering, this guy was not nearly as much of a bitch to fight as actual spin dash. That was just kind of frustrating, actually. Like, that's... I don't know. That was just kind of a... F not really necessarily hard, just kind of frustrating. <laughs> but anyways, there we go. <laughs> it says... wait, next page. Oh! Ha! <laughs> I found more levels, guys. <laughs> I didn't realize that was next page. Alright, cool. We're like Ruin Zone, mini boss. <laughs> okay. Oh no, he has... Oh god, it's it's worked that sucker to death, oh no. This song is good. I'm gonna get you- oh, wait, no, those aren't grabbers, they're like little chainsaws. Huh. Oh, okay, okay you got- you got more aggressive, got it.
Alright, there we go. Wait, the mini boss? But we were fighting Robotnik. Normally, mini bosses are not Robotnik fights. <laughs> Have you seen the fun and infinite from Sonic? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty famous, my friend. I know of it. Also know the other secret screens that the sound test has there. Okay, Relic Ruin Zone boss. I guess he finishes a lot of the bosses before he finishes the stages. All right, boss fight. Wait, I chose Sonic. This is incorrect. We must solve this problem. It, it always defaults back to Sonic every time we return to the screen. Which is just silly. Why would you default to Sonic all the time? Alright, what we got? Okay, another giant egg room. Okay. I had... Wait, I started with rings? That was weird. Try to see what I'm supposed to do here. No, oh, you can stand on the fist. Oh, only briefly can you stand on the fist. Very brief. Okay, that didn't. But that didn't. The game didn't actually. That didn't actually do anything. Game. Okay, there I hit something that time. Okay. Wait. Yes, I was right. But only when technically it's it's vulnerable. I can hurt the moment the fist comes down, basically. <laughs> or tells is tells. It's a little bit of a chaotic way of doing it, but it works. No! <laughs> Alright, it's fine. I didn't need it. It's fine. It's all good. Ow. I, I think the screen coverage here is a little unreasonable, but... Alright, whatever. I was like, what? He takes so fucking long to put his fist down. What the hell? Oh, he has an up punch? I didn't even realize that. Right? The amount of time he takes to put this fist down throws me off. He sure holds it there for a while. Now I've gotten better with the time, it's not so bad, but... Alright, time for Nose Flames. No? Not yet? Oh, okay. I like how I somehow missed my chance to attack there, but I don't even know why. It just kind of went away really fast. There it is. There's the nose flames. I was looking for those. It's just occurred to me that if I'm carefully staying in just the right spot, I should... Yeah, the invis the amount of frames... So, there's like a very brief time where you can actually hurt him, and then he just casually goes invincible in his damage spot. A little unreasonable. I'm just gonna say that. Like, there's not much time in a lot of these, and there's no real arbitrary reason for it. I mean, if I can reach him, I should be able to hurt him, I feel. I'm a lot less concerned about hurting him and more concerned about staying in the middle of the screen and picking up this ring over and over again. If you're wondering. Okay, if, if I follow him incorrectly, he's gonna leave me at the edge of the screen and then I'll lose the ring, so. I 
There we go. Yeah, there should be some sort of, like, hatch that opens to let me know I can hurt the boss or not. That lack of conveyance bothers me. Uh, I guess... Wait, what did we last... That was a relic... That was really ruined zone boss, right? Luminous Casino Zone mini boss. Oh god, this song. Oh, okay, cool. Oh no, I chose... Right, I need to remember. It keeps selecting the less it the less good character every time. I have to change it. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. This is a boss from Sonic I mean Knuckles Chaotix. And also I, it's harder though. Well I say it's harder, but I think I see you work. Careful. He says, stop being careful. I have a realization. <laughs> I like how I'm just crouch sliding away. This boss is easy, at least for the moment, if I just hang back. And do spin dashes. Like so. Alright. Launch base zone bo Launch base zone, huh? Okay. Oh, okay then. This boss. <laughs> All right, you're just- all right, Sonic 3 final boss, sure. Ooh, apparently I cannot properly- oh, right, I just remembered. I kinda wanna... All right, then. Just straight up, Sonic 3 final boss, pretty much word for word. Beat for beat. I forgot how to hit this boss, but... Oh, wow, I'm- I can't do small jumps! This fight is harder than it normally would be. In a normal, in a normal side game, you can jump. You can do a smaller jump by just tapping the button. I can't do that on keyboard. Maybe I can on a controller. I don't know, but I can't do that here. It tells will always full jump. I didn't notice this until just now. That explains why I've had trouble with certain things. I didn't realize this until just now. I can't do small jump. So to hit Robotnik here is suddenly a lot more tricky. I have to basically. Uh oh. It sounds like Toho music? Oh my fucking god, you don't know how much that comment hurts me. This is a classic Sonic 3 and Knuckles song, and you just called it Toho music. Motherfucker. <laughs> you uncultured swine. Okay, so I need the way since I can't small jump, I need to jump early and then fall into Robotnik. But not like that. There's nothing wrong with Toho music, but I'm also just like hurt by that. I didn't say anything. I, I no, I did not say Toho music was bad. I said that it's not Sonic music. And what the hell? <laughs> know your Sonic games. There we go. That was only four hits. What's next? Uh, this is new. This is new. Oh no! <laughs> I got crushed by- Wait, that was an insta-kill! He insta-killed me on the TV screen. <laughs> Smush. Okay, I- okay, I don't appreciate it, the chiding. I don't need chiding for my comment. <laughs> also, you guys need to learn when I'm being a little bit silly when I say something. Yes, I'm serious, like, wow, that's not Toho Music, what? But I'm also exaggerating for fun, so. 
But also, this doesn't sound like Toho music, so that kind of breaks my brain a little bit. Toho music is, like, prettier? I don't know how to put it. Oh. It's more Japanese, let me put that. That's a good way to put it. Nah. Oh, you were also trying to joke? Oh, sorry. That sounded more like the typical chiding that some people do to me. It's alright, though. Also, if it was an obscure song I, got, song, I wouldn't even, uh... I wouldn't bat an eye to that comment. <laughs> It was like, oh, I don't recognize this song from Sonic Popcorn Game. Like, that's actually a game. <laughs> it's like a popcorn machine game. Like, oh, I don't recognize this song from like, Popcorn. I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that, would, that would not be weird. I would understand that. But this is literally the final bo- Oh, I killed myself again. This is quite literally the final- oh god, the game's gonna crash. No, no, don't crash! You only crashed once! You, you won't crash again, it was a fluke. You're not that unstable, come on, you won't crash. Motherfucker! Alright. Game cannot handle game over. <laughs> when game is over, game is fucking over. Alright, we'll go back in. Here's a curse of thought. Tells an Eggman the staff of Toho. Eggman curse it. Tells probably could pull it off, honestly. Kinda of like Raymond from Animal Crossing pulls off the maid outfit. Actually, Raymond is less I would say Raymond's less appropriate in a maid outfit. I think Tells could pull it off better. Whoops, did not mean to select that zone. Choose Tells. I messed up. I forgot which button did what. There we go. Ha! Okay, maybe not quite on the edge of the platform next time. In a KFAD 2? What's KFAD? What is KFAD 2? I don't understand acronyms, friend. Eggman in a made outfit probably exists somewhere. <laughs> oh, you could grab me during the. I didn't know you could grab me during that phase. Please don't push me right. Ah! <laughs> or, uh, do push me right, actually. Right would have been fine. I was trying to get another hit in. I was greedy. Man, I am good at dying. But here's the thing, this fight is legitimately more difficult than it was in Sonic 3 because I can't do a small jump. Also, I'm just gonna kill the game before it kills itself there. It's faster. It literally it literally crashes, so it takes a second to close at that point. Better just kill it myself. <coughs> Excuse me. I seem to have a bit of a throat issue today. So Jack opposed Eggman probably exists. Really, the, well, the main problem I'm having here is just that. Wait, hold on a minute. Yep, uh, the main problem is just that you have nothing but a high jump. You got only a high jump and nothing else. It's just why. Try to find the safest way to attack him. Wait. Nope. <laughs> that wasn't the way. I was like, how can I get more... The... Man, the momentum, I have to get just the right momentum. What side is he gonna come on? Okay. Like, I have to, like, yeah, okay, I kind of get it. It's... 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 Why the fuck can't I do a low jump? That, 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 now that I realize that's a thing, I'm very bothered. Or rather, that it isn't a thing, I suppose. 
I'm gonna stay right here in the middle and just try to figure out how to hit him. I'll be fine. It's fine. If I stay right in the middle, I can't be killed. Technically. At least during this phase, I can. Now this phase, though, this is new. This is not from the original Sonic 3. By the way, if you're wondering, Sonic 3 and Knuckles were games that got locked onto each other. You put them together, you get one big adventure. But if you didn't have them locked on, they could still be played individually as their own games. But, if you played Sonic 3 about locked on Sonic and Knuckles, right, I forgot about that move. That move just kind of... Do you notice how he has a charge-up move that's just another grab? But then he has a... Then he can just... He can just fuck you over and kill you instantly. With a move that has no charge whatsoever. And no warning whatsoever. That's really cool. That's like a boss instantly just dropping a pillar on your head and squishing you. Or something. Yeah, Eggman Phase 2 here is really asshole. Anyways, Psych 3, if you beat it, if you if you were playing it without Psych and, and Knuckles attached to it, uh, then Eggman has an extra final boss phase, a uh, much launch phase zone here where, where that thing is launching. And you fight this guy. Fight this robot. As the actual, like, because Psych 3 needed a final boss if it wasn't attached to Psych and Knuckles, so here you go. However, this phase two of this guy is, uh, new. Very new. Very, very fun. Even like the top of the tracks you on that face. Look, uh, this is, this is the, this is the problem with being a streamer. You gotta keep the audience entertained beyond just your gameplay. But that also means... That also means... Okay, you gotta watch out. No! You are such an asshole. Wait, how do I hit... Okay! Oh no! Okay. So, during all those phases, he didn't have a hitbox. But at that one phase, he does. Despite the fact he didn't move or anything, there's nothing indicating that he should have a hitbox now. So all of a sudden, he had a hitbox that I fucked up. Because I didn't know he had a hitbox. Yeah, what the hell? You know what? Graphical conveyance of information? Pfft, that's for losers. You should just know how things work, after all. I think if I'm correct... Nope. If you stand in just the right place when he drops down, I think you can get a hit on him. That being said, did that reset his... Oh, it did. That saved me time in a way. That's a real asshole move, dude. That one- Oh, right! That move! Sorry, I forgot what the thing that happens after that is. I guess I'll just stand in the middle, take the hit, and grab a ring and hurt him in the process. Ow. A lot of these- You notice how a lot of these fights are technically well-programmed? Like, there's a lot going on, it's kind of interesting. But there's always something about each fight that just kind of makes them a little bit more than bullshit. The fact that I can't do low jumps is also... I'm just realizing, like, why the hell can't... Like, that is beyond this one boss fight. Why the hell can't I do a small jump? That is so useful in Sonic sometimes. Why does this engine not support low jumps? I don't get it. Weirds me the fuck out, man. There! That's what I was trying to do. See, I, I knew it was possible. Like I said. And also, because I, because I just injured him, I go through his spikes. It was, it was a smart move, it just had to be timed better. 
Okay. So I know what to do. Missile's here. Okay, stand here. Somewhere around here. It's whatever. Move. Three, four, and just casually walk away and then jump! Alright. Stand right here and then start jumping early. What? Are you about to do the thing? Oh, good! So it turns out the charge attack is also insta kill. Cool! <laughs> so he has a non charge and charge version of the insta kill. Because. That. That needed. Listen, having a charge attack insta kill is not too crazy. But having the having the insta having the the non charge version that's not so cool. <laughs> this fight, man. We will beat it. I I think I've seen the full pattern now, but. Let's see how quickly I can get us to the next phase. Wow, I optimized every hit. That was actually pretty impressive. By the way, only one hit at a time, if you're wondering. That was close. Yep, 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 okay, I get it. Missiles are off time with the rest of the attacks. That's actually kind of scary. Yeah, he's running the fuck away for that version, is fine. Fuck you. Fuck you in the actual bullshit that you pulled. <laughs> Whew. Alright then. That was actual bullshit. Let's go to the credits with Tells. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're currently working on some art inspired by the Tells and Kirby game discussion of earlier. Oh, that's cool, Stripe. I'd like to see it. That sounds like a cute idea. So... I appreciate that the bosses are pretty original, but I don't appreciate... the level of frustration a lot of them bring, you know? I also don't appreciate how... picky this game is when it comes to running right. Remember, I have to A, put this out of full screen, B, not game capture this, but window capture this, and C, not use a controller despite this controller support. Or things cause things leg out. Nonetheless, I was able to beat everything and have a decent frame rate while doing so by meeting those conditions, but seriously, this needs some work. Not only bug testing, but engine, shoring up the engine, enabling things like the smaller dash, you know? If I'm just tapping the keyboard button, they shouldn't do a big jump. I should have to hold down for that. Uh, for instance. The problem is fan games always overdo the bosses and make them stupidly difficult. I don't mind difficult. I don't mind difficult. I do mind cheap. 
or just poorly designed, where their hitboxes are poorly conveyed and such, which is what we saw here. Random thought of Tails the Kirby teams have to cheese every single map by infinite flying. Ha! <laughs> well, I mean... I mean, Kirby already can't kind of fl fly, though. <laughs> What is this mad gen you're talking about? Is that like a gen? Like a genie, but he's mad? What is a what is a mad gen? I'm probably very uncultured by asking that question. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, there's a lot of, I could tell there was a lot of work put into this, but it just is kind of disbalanced and frustrating. The infinite sun Oh right, the infinite fun symbol. Um right. That's right. Majin. So to say, uh, uh, Majin makes sense. Majin doesn't make sense. And to close off, we have the game crash. Of course. <laughs> Why not? I like how I can play the Sega logo the first time when starting up, but any other time? Oh no. I think there's something wrong with the program where it can't display it a second time without crashing because of some wrong bite or something when playing it a second time upon launching, after launching. Well, anyways, <laughs> I think that's a fair enough way to end it, honestly, with what we saw. That was Sonic Illusion. It's not a bad game, but it's a frustrating, jank game with an engine that isn't working too well for it. Uh, it needs some shoring up, I would say. I mean, it's just an indie project. It's free. Whatever. It's not a big deal if it works well or not, I guess. But it'd be nice to see if this gets polished up. I'd appreciate that. Obviously, it's still a demo state, so it could very well get polished up. I hope it does. But I suppose we might see it in another Sage. Maybe Sage 2022. Who knows? But in any case, that was Sonic Illusion.